Hello guys, welcome back. In this small video, we'll see how a overspeed device for auxiliary engine functions and trips the auxiliary engine. This device is installed at the bottom end of engine side below the turbocharger. So guys, this is how your auxiliary engine on ships looks like. This side is your alternator and this side is your mechanical part with all the units. This is your turbocharger. So the overspeed device which I'm going to talk about is somewhere located here. So it's just close to this side. So this portion you can see the mechanical overspeed device is activate uh, when the speed of the this auxiliary engine goes above the rated one. There is also a pickup sensor which senses the current RPM and supplies to uh, electrical unit. At this side this the arrow shows as a push button when you want to test this mechanical overspeed device manually you need to press this button it will activate the limit switch and it will give the alarm this is your mechanical overspeed device you can see few parts are missing like limit switch but i will show you in other images this side i have opened the cover just to show you that when you manually press this lever it will activate a spring which will then activate this limit switch so this is a moving lever to lim activate limit switch this side you can see lever and limit switch in this image and this is a manual push button you can press it manually using your thumb then it will go and activate a strip which will activate your limit switch and act give signal electrical signal to your system if you want to dismantle you can remove this and then it will be clearly visible to you so you can press it like this so this uh, this is a knob location knob is not currently located here but there will be a red colored knob when you press this uh, manual push button you can see a lever comes out so this side the one which is moving inside this is a rotating part so when you press this when your auxiliary engine is running it will activate a strip and then it activate electrical signal this is your 3 by 2 solenoid wall from where 7 bar compressed air is coming which is then going to your lambda cylinder which will stop the fuel supply to auxiliary engine. So with this diagram you can understand that your compressed air inlet is coming from A1 compressed air is coming and then with this line you can see the 7 number 7 air filter through that it will pass and it will go to number 8 fuel rack limiter wall number 8 and then number 9 is fuel rack limiter so when your mechanical overspeed device activated it will activate this 3 by 2 solenoid valve which is your number 8 and then the compressed air will pass to number 9 fuel rack limiter which will cut the fuel supply to your engine which will stop your auxiliary engine so friends uh, do regularly check all these overspeed devices and other trips and alarms because after the incident of uh, baltimore bridge which was happened in USA. The third party are more interested in testing all these auxiliary engine now. So, see you in the next video.